we will use the Bluetooth to remotely control a robot car. I have used the Eligur robot car. It's a great low-cost kit manufactured by Lego. You can see their website for its feature set. This is by far the most affordable robot kit that I have seen so far. It includes HC06 Bluetooth module for remote control, which makes it a great candidate for our demo. It also comes with rechargeable batteries with charging station, infrared remote and receiver, infrared line tracking sensors, and ultrasonic distance sensor mounted on top of servo that allows it to be rotated and measure distances in different directions. Let's start with the robot design in Visuino. To control the motors, the robot contains a motor driver board based on the L298M chip. We need to add Visuino component for it. In this kit, the motor board is connected with three pins per motor. We'll add the motor driver Connect the forward to the digital pin of digital channel 7, the reverse to digital channel 6, the speed to the analog pin of digital channel 5. For the second motor, the forward to digital channel 8, reverse to digital channel 9, and speed to the analog pin of digital channel 10. The dual motor driver component has two input pins to control the speed of the two motors. We'll send certain values for the motors to go forward, backward or stop. This will work, however, the motors will turn suddenly and this will not be a smooth ride for the robot. It is best if we introduce transition between the values with a ramp. Visuino includes special component exactly for this purpose. The ramp to value component. We will add two of them. For the two motors. And we will connect them. We will set initial value for the components to 0.5 which means stop for the motor the speeds for the motors are 0 backward 0 0.5 neutral and 1 forward for slope we will set 1.5 we will control the robot with four buttons forward, backward, left and right when none of them is pressed, the robot should not move. This means that we have five different conditions. The simplest way to implement this in Visuino is to use a ray component. We will add two analog arrays for the two motors. And we will connect them to the RAM components. Now we will add the speeds for the five conditions in array 1. 0 0.5 or stop for neutral, 1 for forward, 1 for left, 0 for right, and 0 for backward. And we will do the same for the second array. 0 0.5 for neutral. 1 forward. 0 left. 1 right. And 0 backward. To select index in the array, we will use priority encoder to generate value when one of the buttons is pressed.
we will connect the priority encoder to the index pins of the arrays. We will receive four different characters from the serial port F for forward, B for backward, L for left, and R for right. We need to detect those characters. We can do this by comparing them with character constant. For this, we use compare component. We will add four compare char value components. We will add three more pins to the priority encoder. We'll set the four characters for the buttons F for forward, L for left, R for right, B for backward. And we'll connect the components to the priority encoder. Now all we need to do is connect the serial port to the compare components. If necessary, you can rearrange around the forward, left, right, and backward commands to match the left and right motors in case your robot is wired slightly different. Since the Bluetooth module is connected to the serial port, make sure you remove the module before programming the robot. The project is ready. Now we can generate the Arduino code. Select board, port, compile and upload the code. To control the robot from a mobile device, I have created a FireMonkey application in Delphi. I have added Bluetooth component, label to show when the device is connecting, four buttons to control the direction. I have set the buttons to be disabled and I will enable them when we connect. Set the enabled property of the Bluetooth to true. When the form is created, we will call Discover Devices on the Bluetooth. When the discovery ends, we will look through the devices, searching for the HC06 device. If we find it, we will pair with the device. We will look through the services. For the first service, we will create a client socket component. We will connect to the socket. And once when the connection is established, we will make the label invisible and enable the buttons. Then we will break the two loops. We will save the socket in a member variable. For the mouse down of the forward button, we will send F through the socket. For mouse up, uppercase left. The same thing for the rest of the buttons. Lowercase L for the left down, uppercase L for the left up. Lowercase R for the mouse down of right, uppercase R for the mouse up on the right. Lowercase b for mouse down on backward. Uppercase b for mouse up on the backward. Finally, when the form is destroyed, we will free and know the socket. This is all the necessary code. In order for the application to be able to use the Bluetooth, in the project options, We need to set the Bluetooth and Bluetooth admin to true. Now we can compile and deploy the app to the phone. Hold the robot by pressing the buttons forward, backward, 
forward again, left, right, left, forward, backward, forward, left, right, forward. 